dear students today's topics are inertia of rest inertia of motion and inertia of direction first inertia of of rest once again i would like to explain the term inertia <clears throat> the natural tendency of a body to resist a change in its state a state of rest or a state of motion the inability of a body due to which it does not want to change its state itself everybody is unable to change its state itself that is called inertia koi bhi body apne state jo hai apne aap change nahi kar sakta hai aur ya natural tendency jo hai uski wahi inertia hai इनर्सिया के कारण ही ड्यू टू इनर्सिया अ बॉडी एक्सपीरियंसेस अ फोर्स एंड इट कम्स इन टू मोशन और इफ इट इज इन मोशन इट कम्स टू रेस्ट सो इनर्सिया ऑफ रेस्ट द नेचुरल टेंडेंसी of a stationary object the object is at rest to resist a change in its state of rest a body is at rest and it wants to be at rest it tends to be at rest forever unless we apply an unbalanced force on it suppose a body is at rest and we apply an unbal a balanced force on it to move it to change it its position when we apply an unbalanced force the body due to inertia of rest resists the change opposes the force and experiences a force also when it experiences a force it starts moving for example we take a glass and we place a cardboard on the glass we also put a coin on the cardboard when we flick the cardboard sharply the coin falls into the glass why because when we flick the cardboard sharply the coin on the cardboard is at rest it tends to be at rest so it opposes the motion opposes the force and it gets detached from the cardboard it gets separated from the cardboard and due to gravitational force 
it uh, comes down it falls into the glass you can take another example suppose you are sitting in a bus and the bus is at rest suddenly the bus starts moving you get jerked backward why because the lower portion of your body comes into motion along with the bus but your upper portion opposite its motion the motion of the bus it experiences a force in the opposite direction so you get jerked in backward direction this is the another example of inertia of rest second type of inertia is inertia of motion the property of a moving body due to which it opposes a change in its a state of motion the natural tendency of a moving body due to which it resists a change in its state of motion is called inertia of motion take uh, an example to clear the topic suppose you are in a bus and the bus is uh, moving at a high speed suddenly brakes are applied and you cut get jerked in forward direction why because you are in the in motion with the bus you tend to move but brakes are applied to stop the bus but you tend to move your tendency is to move forward and you oppose the force exerted by the brakes and you get jerked forward direction this is the example of inertia of motion आप एक बस में बैठे हुए हैं और बस जो है ये स्पीड से जा रही है अब भी मोशन में है अलॉन्ग विद द बस लेकिन ब्रेक का अप्लाई किया गया तो आपकी टेंडेंसी तो है मोशन की आप तो हमेशा मोशन में रहना चाहेंगे तो आप उस फोर्स को क्या कीजिएगा अपोज कीजिएगा तो ब्रेक तो बैकवर्ड डायरेक्शन में लगता है अब मोशन के अपोजिट डायरेक्शन में और आपका टेंडेंसी है क्या आगे बढ़ने के इसलिए आप क्या होते हैं इन फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन यू बेंड व्हेन द ब्रेक्स आर अप्लाइड टू ए स्टॉप ए मूविंग बस एंड यू आर सेटिंग इनसाइड द बस थर्ड इनर्सिया ऑफ डायरेक्शन
the natural tendency of a moving body in a straight line the moving uh, the natural tendency of a moving body in a, a straight line to resist to resist a change in the direction in the direction of motion is called inertia of direction Suppose you are sitting in a motor car and the motor car is moving at a high speed. The driver turns the motor car sharply or the motor car takes a sharp turn. You slide your seat to one side. You get jerked sideways. Why? You fo exert force on the inner wall of the motor car. Why? Because you tend to move in a straight line motion in which the car is going. But there is a change in the direction of uh, motion of the car suddenly the change in the direction of the motion of the car takes place suddenly and you oppose the change and you experience a force so you get jerk sideways you slip to one side of, of your seat this is an example of inertia of direction you ever seen you have ever seen some articles as uh, bags luggage or other articles it is say are tied with a rope on the roof of a bus why this is why because when the bus takes sharp turn, the luggage can get thrown away from the roof due to inertia of direction. A bus over up at the Kanga luggage or Banda were at the roof, say, Rasi say, as a kyo, Kyoki jab bus jo hai sharp turn leti hai. ना डायरेक्शन चेंज करती है तो उस पर जो बॉस ऑब्जेक्ट है उसका तो मोशन का डायरेक्शन होगा स्ट्रेट और वह वह अपोज करेगा अगर वह बंधा हुआ नहीं रहे तो उसे बाहर फेंका जा सकता है इसलिए उसको बांध कर रखा जाता है क्यों इनर्शिया ऑफ डायरेक्शन के कारण आप कार में जा रहे हो और कार का एक सार्प टर्न है आप सीट के अपने एक तरफ जो है इनसाइड वाल जो है उसमें आप धक्का दे देते हैं आप फोर्स एक्सर्ट करते हैं अगर उधर खिड़की और गेट हो और गेट अगर खुल जाए तो आप बाहर भी गिर सकते हैं क्यों ऐसा क्योंकि नर्सिया उड़े आपका मोशन का डायरेक्शन आप जो है एक फिक्स है एक स्ट्रेट लाइन में आप मूव कर रहे हैं और मोटर कार जो है अपना डायरेक्शन ऑफ मोशन चेंज करती है तो आप उस चेंज का क्या करते हैं अपोज करते हैं क्यों Inertia of direction के कारण you tend to move in a straight line आप की परविर्ति है आपकी tendency है कि straight line में चलने के लिए और जब उसको उस direction को motion का direction change किया जाए तो then you oppose the change 
एंड यू एक्सपीरियंसेस ऑफ फोर्स आप उसका क्या करेंगे अपोज करते हैं और उसका एफोर्स एक्सपीरियंस करते हैं इसलिए आप साइडवेज जो है जर्क महसूस करते हैं दिस इज ऑल अबाउट इनर्सिया इनर्सिया ऑफ रेस्ट इनर्सिया ऑफ मोशन इनर्सिया ऑफ डायरेक्शन इनर्सिया इज अ नेचुरल प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ body due to which it resists any change in its its state a state of rest or a state of motion a due to inertia a body experiences a force now the next topic that will be explained by me in coming videos in coming lecture momentum and uh, newton second law of motion this is the most important law of all the three laws of motion given by newton thank you